Good morning, this is Nigel at Weather Modification Watch New Zealand. Uh, it's been a busy uh, busy morning and um, <clears throat> I just wanted to update you as uh, I don't have to tell anybody, there's been a very large earthquake, uh, 7 point whatever it was, 7.5, 7.5, yeah, and there it is there, 7.5. <clears throat> so um, the I made a video last night showing this beam and interestingly enough this uh, beam is still down there on uh, the visual satellite image. Now why I, why I like to pay attention to this image, um, the images coming from this, is because it's visual which means that it's not a radar thing, there's no chance of mistake. This is actually what is happening. And you can see very clearly this little beam coming down here, or if you want to take it, we could say right through here, there. And keep in mind that this is where the plate actually travels. It comes right through this area and then slips over and and goes down the, um, the South Island, the, spine of the South Island if you like. So uh, people are asking okay is there going to be another quake tonight or something like that. Well firstly the the uh, supermoon creates a lot more gravitational pull on the earth and that is why uh, these pulses work so much better for them when they uh, pulse during supermoons and hence we have this going on. Well, even the people who are doing these pulses don't have 100% control over what they're doing with it because they are just creating stress. Now, to give an example of that, if you have um, like a, a car drives past with a boombox stereo in it, for example, and you can hear the windows vibrate if it's turned up, with some real good bass on it. That vibration is created using those sound waves. In a similar way, the EMF uh, creates vibrations as well, and it's that vibration that can create earthquakes, um, it can create storms, hurricanes, uh, or cyclones as we call them, um, and, and so on. So that is where, what we're looking at. now. Whether that vibration tips the, the balance and, and creates an event um, is, is just dependent on uh, the landscape, the geological conditions that are present at the time. If everything's standing solid, it's like a, a tree that's been sitting there for years that gets a, a strong wind hits it. And if it's, uh, if it's one of those real surviving trees, it's not going to get blown down. But a, a new one, well, hey, it could, you know. It's that kind of a thing. So uh, so that's what we're looking at. So is there a need to worry about it? Well, probably not. Um, but you can see that beam. It just comes right down into this area. Um, so uh, the main thing is, uh, you know, be aware that this is happening and be prepared. You know, have plenty of water set aside. Um, you know, that's always should be there. Um, water, food supplies, like dry foods are really good because they last, you know. Um, it's good to have a uh, gas cooker and so that if uh, the power goes out, you've, you've got something to cook with. Um, they, these are just things to have, you know. And that applies to any time, not just um, when a big earthquake like this happens, but you should always have that there prepared. Um, also, uh, one thing I highly recommend is those uh, earthquake blankets, uh, emergency, sorry, emergency blankets. You can buy at places like Mitre 10, Kathmandu, whatever, that um, supply camping supplies. The aluminium blankets that you can chuck a couple of those, a few of those in the car um, <clears throat> or somewhere safe, somewhere accessible. And... They are always good for, you know, like if, if something 
you know, some emergency, some disaster happens. So um, these are just a few of the tips, but um, if you uh, aren't already uh, on the Weather Modification Watch page, then please subscribe to uh, to join that, and, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Imaginization. It's I M A G I N Z A T I O N. Anyway, it's the same one that this video is being um, posted on. So, uh, so that's really it from me. Uh, and uh, as I say, stay safe. This is Nigel at Weather Modification Watch New Zealand checking me out.